Hello everyone. Welcome to Aptitude Jab. This is a set based on selection. It says that there is a breeder that has 10 birds. Okay, so uh, these are the birds, three breeds uh, and male and female birds of these breeds. Then we are given that he exhibits pairs of birds consisting of one male and one female of the same breed. Okay, at most two pairs can be exhibited at a time. So that means you can have one or two pairs, they can be exhibited. The remaining birds must be distributed between two cages. So he has two cages, cage one and cage two. He will keep the remaining birds there and rest will be uh, exhibition. So exhibition can have one pair or two pairs. If there is one pair here, so that means eight birds here. Okay, and if two pairs here, then six birds here. The breeder is constrained by the following conditions. So there are certain conditions. Neither cage can contain more than four birds. So if he exhibits one pair, he will have to cage four, four birds in these. Okay. And if he exhibits two pairs, then he can have either two, four setup or he can have the three, three setup also. Okay. Any two birds that are both of the same sex and of the same breed as each other can't be caged together. All right. That is again given. And whenever either J or W is exhibited, S cannot be exhibited. So these are the three constraints given to us. And based on this, we have to answer the questions. So the first question is, which of the following lists two pairs of birds that the breeder can exhibit at the same time? Okay. Now, before even solve this puzzle, one thing let us consider is like this condition. Any two birds that are both of the same sex and of the same breed as each other can't be caged together. Now, this means that in cage one, we can have uh, one male of particular breed or one female of uh, particular breed and the second in cage two. So by this logic, we cannot put these three birds in cages, right? Suppose we select a sparrow and a pigeon as a pair. So what will happen in that case is we cannot put these three males because let us say we put Q in cage one, we put R in cage two, right? We do not have any option left for S. So that means ki essentially one pair is of dove. One pair is compulsorily of dove because if we do not select a pair, we will have three male doves and we cannot put in two cages. So one pair is of dove for sure. Okay. Now let us see that uh, which of these two uh, birds that uh, he can exhibit. So H and J, M and N, sparrow and pigeon. So not possible. Okay. So same logic. Like if you put H and uh, J and M and N, we have three male doves, right? We cannot put three doves in two cages, two, three male bird doves, H and J, S and T, H and J, S and T. Now let us see that if it satisfies all the conditions. So one dove is selected, S and T, H and J, right? We are given that if J is selected, S cannot be, ex if J is exhibited, S cannot be exhibited. So that is why we can reject this option. H and K, M and N. Okay, so again, in this case, we are again selecting a sparrow and a pigeon, right? So again, this is also not possible. So that should be the answer. H and K, R and W, anything wrong with that? No, H and K, one pair of this and R and W is one pair of this. So we can exhibit that. All right, let's look at the next question. If Q and T are among the birds that are assigned to cages, which one of the following is a pair of birds that must be exhibited? Now, Q and T are assigned to cages. Okay, and we already know that one pair of dove has to be exhibited. So Q and T are assigned to cages. This means that uh, one pair has to be out of RW or SW, isn't it? One dove pair has to be exhibited and the female out of them is W. We are given this condition that if J or W is exhibited, S cannot be exhibited. So S cannot go with W. So the pair has to be RW. So that is a mandatory pair to be exhibited. Next question, which of the following cannot be true? Okay. All right. So uh, if you look at the first option, it says that one pair of doves are the only birds exhibited together. See, uh, we are given that we can have at most two pairs exhibited at a time so we can have one pair also exhibited right and we know that dove is a mandatory pair right so we can exhibit one dove let us say 
uh, we exhibit Q and W. Just taking an example, we can take uh, Q and W, then we can put remaining four birds in one cage, four birds in the other cage, right? So we will not put R and S together. We will not put J and K together. We can put these eight birds in cage. So this is possible. Okay. Second is one pair of sparrows and one pair of pigeons are exhibited together. So that is our fundamental uh, thing that we figured out that sparrow and pigeon pair cannot be exhibited because one pair of dove is mandatory. Now, if you see one, uh, one pair of sparrows, one pair of doves, that is fine. One pair of pigeons, one pair of doves, that is also fine. So B is not possible. We have to have mandatory one pair of uh, doves to be exhibited. Okay, but we can have only one pair of dove also exhibited. If S is one of the birds exhibited, it must be true that. Okay, so S is one of the birds exhibited. We have to find which of the following will be true. So one pair is S. Okay, so uh, then if S is there, J or if J or W is there, S cannot be there, right? So that means we cannot pair W with S, right? So it will be S and T. One pair is S and T, right? Uh, now, we have to find which of the following must be true, okay? Uh, then we cannot have H is exhibited. Maybe we may have H ex as exhibition, right? One pair is S, T that we know. Second pair we do not know. M is exhibited. Maybe we can have M and N as exhibitions, right? So that is also possible. R is assigned to a cage and N is assigned to a cage. So we have to check that which of the following is uh, which of the following must be true, right? So suppose we do not assign R to a cage, right? Suppose we take that, we take condition C that R is not assigned to a cage. See, H can be exhibited, possible, uh, right? M can be exhibited, but not, it's saying that must be true. So not necessarily that H is exhibited, M is exhibited. Maybe we have H, we, we have this, right? We can have either of these two. R is assigned to a cage, N is assigned to a cage, right? So if we do not select a pigeon, then N will be assigned to a cage. But if we uh, select a pigeon, N will not be assigned to a cage. So for these three, we are sure that may be true, not necessarily true. But we, we need to find that whether C is compulsory true. Suppose we do not assign R to a cage, right? So if we do not assign R to a cage, R has to be exhibited. Okay, so there is only two options. Either you exhibit or you assign to a cage. If we take R, so one pair is ST. If we take R, we have to exhibit along with W. Now, if J or a, W is there, S cannot be there, right? So uh, this S cannot go with, uh, S cannot go with W. So that is why R has to be assigned to a cage. Okay, so that is the answer. One thing we, we need to notice is if we do not select S, right, then we can have two pairs of doves exhibited. We can have, let's say, uh, QT. Okay, we can have RW, right? We do not select S. We can have two pairs of doves. So one pair of dove is possible. Two pair of uh, dove is also possible. Okay, uh, and uh, like we can have any of this pair if you do not select S. But we, we need to have at least one pair of dove to, to be exhibited. So that was the solution to the set and the answers to the questions. I hope you loved solving this set. And if you like the explanation of this video, so uh, of this set, please do like the video.